Hi, this is Dr. Bill Baer, the inventor of Meditetti. Welcome to the Erie County Senior Service Team. I hope you have fun on this adventure we're going on with Meditetti, your medication coach. So how does Meditetti work? Well, what you need to do is turn Meditetti on at the time the patient is taking their medicine in the morning. Say they take the medicine at 8 a.m., then you would uh, turn the bear on at 8 a.m. and the bear will ask the patient every morning at 8 a.m. going forward from 8 a.m. and at 6 p.m. whether they've taken their medicine. Let's see how it works. First thing we want to do is unzip the back of the bear and you have the controls. You have the charging port and then you have your on off switch. You can go on, low and high volume. Let's go high volume for this recording. Some people like lower volumes and some people like higher volumes. Teddy, Teddy. I'm here to help you remember to take your medicine. Every morning at this time, I will ask you if you took your medicine. I'll ask you again in 12 hours, and then every 12 hours, every day going forward. Let's get started. That's the introduction. That only happens once, and when you turn it on. Wow, I am feeling fuzzy today. How about you? Press my yes paw if you took your medicine. Maybe that will wake me up. Or press my no paw if you did not take your medicine. Let's try no. You have responded that you are not taking your medicine. I wonder why you are not taking it. I couldn't bear to have you get sick. Remember, you can call your doctor if you are having trouble. So it gives a concerning message if you didn't take your medicine and it gives a positive reinforcement message if you did take your medicine. The bear says about 30 or 40 different things it likes to spice it up a little bit. Now, the other thing the bear will do is store the information, store the responses from the patient so that you as a medical team or the family or the patient, his or herself, can see whether or not they're taking the medicine regularly. Let's see how that works. What you're supposed to do is press both paws at the same time for six seconds. One, two, three, Hi, four. I am glad Fourth to see time. you. Ready to hear the statistics? Press my yes paw to begin. Press my no paw to quit now. So let's press yes. Statistics for seven days. Positive responses. 53%. Not very good. Negative responses. 28%. Missed responses. 19%. Statistics for 14 days. Positive responses, 52%. Still negative responses, good. 29%. I'm going to turn the bear off now, but missed it, responses. it gives responses for uh, 7, 14, and 21 days. So you can see if there's a trend in the patient taking their medicine. Now, I'm hoping that the outreach team can outreach to the patients every one or two weeks and see how they're doing with their adherence. And the adherence is very important because if they're only taking their medicine half the time, then you're not gonna necessarily blame the medicine for the patient not getting better, but blame the non-adherence for the patient not getting better. So that's very important. The other thing I would like to say is that uh, the bear is meant for people with mild cognitive delays or just forgetful. And so if someone has severe cognitive delays or Alzheimer's, severe Alzheimer's, they wouldn't respond to the bear properly. So uh, let's get started uh, bringing the bears to Buffalo today, May 28th, and uh, hope to see you all soon. Bye-bye.